Hello people who actually watch my videos for some reason. I have noticed that you guys really like the scientific videos I make so today we have the American Lion, a truly impressive big cat which even its skeleton dwarfs the smile on Fatalis one. Not to be confused with the fossil slime Panthera fossilis or the cave lion Panthera spilea which I already made a video about. Also known as the giant jaguar, Panthera atrox was one of the largest big cats to ever roam the earth. This lion or jaguar lived in North America since 340,000 years ago and like a lot of large mammals of that time got extinct about 11,000 years ago. The scientific name of the American lion is Panthera leo atrox or for some just Panthera atrox. The word Panthera means panther in Greek, like in most of the Pantherinae scientific names. And atrox means cruel, so the name is cruel panther or cruel lion. You may be asking why one name is Leo or lion in it and the second one doesn't. It's the same animal, isn't it? Well, the answer is people don't know. You heard me right, for a long time the paleontologists thought Panthera Atrox was a relative of the lion and added the Leo in his name. After examining the lower jaw and the skull as a whole and considering more logical suggestions, more recent studies suggest that it was actually closer to the jaguar and for that it's called the giant jaguar. Some more suggestions are one that the American lion was a relative of the tiger as well as the cave lion and two, that the American lion was an ancestor of both lions and leopards. It's a fact that there are fewer American lion fossils in the La Brea tar pit site than other animals such as Smaldon Fatalis or the dire wolf. This can tell us that he was smart enough to avoid a natural trap or that he was not smart enough to create social groups. If you can't see why social groups of animals affect the number of specimens in the tar pits, here's your answer. Dire wolves that are known to live in packs and the saber toothed cat which probably did so as well are the most popular animals in the pits because when one of the pack individuals decided to attack a prey that was stuck in the tar, all of the other followed him and more had the same fate of death. So if Panthera Atrox wasn't smart enough to create social groups, these kind of cases wouldn't have happened. The American lion were carnivores feeding on most prey that was living in North America of that time, such as deer, horses, camels, bisons, mammoths, and other large herbivores. The American lion lifestyle was probably really close to the Siberian tiger lifestyle, another big cat that lives in a cold and snowy environment. A frozen circus of an American bison named Blue Babe was found in North America with bear bites in lion or jaguars claw marks which indicates the hunting style and diet of the animal. Unfortunately for both the lions and the bison, the bison was frozen before the big cats or the bear could feast on him. So unfortunately I couldn't find an American lion or a giant jaguar in any game, book or film. I'm not considering documentaries, science films or articles since it's obvious they will feature the animals. So, uh, thanks you for watching, I hope you've learned something from this. If you liked the video, like it, if you didn't like it, don't like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, and if you don't subscribe, don't subscribe. Right, goodbye.